This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Hello everyone and welcome back to new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel we talk all about WordPress and today we are going to explore a plugin called Slider Hero with animation. This plugin dynamically create website intro advert with YouTube video background and animated background also. You can use it in your hero banners, hero sliders and for creating landing pages. So it's a special type of animation creator where you can include your youtube videos also by getting only their id so let's see how we can do that first we have to go to plugins and click on add new then search for hero slider Here scroll to hero slider with animation video background click on install now so after installation click on activate after activation you will see this window and you can see slider hero in your left tab here you can see how to create uh, by watching this youtube video and let's move on to create our own slider so for that click on new slider then here it will ask you to choose the effect so these are our free effects and these are our premium or paid effects so we will go with the free version either you can use youtube video sliders or any of these so let's move with youtube video slider because we want to create a youtube video slider that's why After that, here you will see general setting, display setting, audio settings, video setting, effect setting and arrows. So these are all the settings that you will need to customize your video slider. And here you can add the slides. So I can click on this plus icon to add a new slide. And here I will have to add that YouTube video ID. So let's get a YouTube video ID of any of the video like this one so this is the video id which is after the watch equal to so i just copy it and paste it here and we can give it any title watch this and give description exciting video And here I can choose the title font and description font and its spacing in pixels and many more. Let's leave it to default for now. And here in free version, I can add two buttons on that slider. So let's add a button. So here you will have to enter the text which will be shown on the button. So you can click on watch now. And here I can give the link to this video. So this is just an example of the video slider. So we will not go in details of all of these settings. You can leave it to default. It will not hamper as much. And you can add one more button. Click on skip. Dash and click on add button so just like this you can click on add again and add a new slider also you have to give the new id youtube video id so let's copy this one and paste it and just leave it to default 
and here on general setting you can pick where the title description or button goes and you can fix it width and height also so i like to go with the full screen option and you can choose whether to auto slide on or off you can choose its title alignment you can even give margins to the alignment and buttons also so let's give it a title like this everything in center now in display setting you can choose the title background title color description background description color all of these settings and the background color also since we are using youtube video uh, the background color will be none and this video will be shown on that page same is like audio settings you can upload a audio file here and it can play behind the video it will overwrite it next is video setting here you can choose to loop the video or video or mute equals to false then it will ask the user to play or unmute the sound so you can keep it to true also here is effect setting so since we are using a youtube background there is no setting for effects and this is the arrow setting the arrow which will help us navigate throughout the slider so let's click on save and here in the shortcode option you will get the shortcode that you can include in any of your page to view this slider so let's include it in any of our pages let's click on add new so here we can go with edit with elementor and give this page a name first so like demo page and then get on with edit with elementor so now on our elementor page let's just search for short code drag it here and let's paste our short code here and click on apply we can see our preview changes So it's showing the video is unavailable. So let's add a different video. So this video is playing quite fine. And we can see the two buttons here, watch now and skip. So this is how you can add a YouTube video slider and we can replace this video for uh, now it's showing again. So here you can change its background color also. So it will be more visible. So let's do it. We have to go to our default page and get back to our plugin slider hero and here on manage slider you will see all of the slider created so this is the first slider that is created by default and this equal to 3z slider which we have created just now so just click on it and we can edit it So since this video was not playing well, we will choose another video, oh sorry, video was playing well, we have to change the background of the description and title. So for that we will go to display settings and here we can choose title background color. So let's choose any color, let's see title is white so we will choose black. description background color also black or you can choose any of the color here or you can drag this also
just hit on save after changing anything and we have to change the bottom button color also so let's change the button background color also so here is the button decoration which is set to none so we can change its decoration also So if we go to edit button, we can see the back button background color or border color. So let's choose the background color to be purple. And when we hover over it, change it to blue. Click on update and we can do the same with the other button also. Click on update and it on save. So it will take some time to show in the page. Let's refresh it. So here we can see the default title and description has been changed. And if we go to this video, the title and description background has been changed and the button color also changed. You can customize it as much as you like. And you can add different animation also. You can directly select a different animation from here or you can create a new slider by clicking on new slider and choosing from these effects. So this is how simply you can add any YouTube video slider or animation in your slider. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to Educate WordPress.